Black holes are some of the most fascinating and yet to be fully explored objects in outer space that have kept scientists and researchers on their edge since it was discovered. Black hole is a region in space-time where the gravity is very strong and doesn't allow the smallest of particles, electromagnetic radiations, a space objects such as comets and planets to go out of it. They are extremely dense, with such a strong gravitational attraction that even light cannot escape their grasp if it comes near enough. Because nothing can get out of these regions, they are not visible to people, which is why they are referred to as a dark side of the universe. Black holes come in many sizes, and their size depends on how much matter or mass is in them. So, what kind of black holes are in the universe, and how they formed? The existence of black holes was predicted well before the 20th century. About a hundred years after Newton worked out his theory of gravitation, the English astronomer John Mitchell recognized in 1784 the possibility that the gravity of a very large star might be so great that nothing, not even light, could escape it. In modern era, the theory of general relativity, which was published by Albert Einstein in 1915 and described gravitation in modern physics, predicts that a sufficiently compact mass can deform a spacetime, which then turns into a black hole. The term black hole was coined many years later in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler. After decades of black holes being known only as a theoretical objects, the first physical black hole ever discovered was spotted in 1971. Then in 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration released the first image ever recorded of a black hole. The Event Horizon Telescope saw the black hole in the center of galaxy M87, while the telescope was examining the event horizon or the area past which nothing can escape from a black hole. It also opens up a whole new area of research in black holes now that astronomers know what a black hole looks like. Black holes have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon and the singularity. The boundary of the black hole is called the event horizon. It is the closest thing a black hole has to a surface, but it's not a physical surface. It's an invisible bubble in a space. The event horizon is the point of no return. Nothing can escape a black hole once it crosses the event horizon and we can never see what happens inside it. However, using maths, we can get an idea of what it might be like. The inner region of a black hole, where the object's mass lies, is known as its singularity. The singularity lies right at the heart of the black hole. It is in this tiny spot that the entire mass of the black hole is contained. Anything that falls into the black hole is eventually crushed onto the singularity. How a black hole can pack such huge amounts of matter into such a tiny space is still now a mystery. To fully understand the singularity, scientists will need to combine two famous theories of the universe, the general theory of relativity and quantum theory. So far, astronomers have identified four types of black holes, a stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, primordial black holes, and intermediate black holes, and each type is a mysterious beast. These gravitational glides pack so much matter into such a small space that they form a class of objects unlike any other in the universe. The most well understood black holes, a stellar mass black holes form when a star burns through the last of its fuel, the object may collapse or implode on itself. If the imploding star is between about 8 and 20 times the mass of the sun, however, it won't form a black hole. Instead, the collapsing star will rebound off its core, causing it to erupt as a supernova or form a neutron star or a white dwarf. But if the collapsing star is greater than about 20 times the mass of the sun, its core isn't strong enough to stop the implosion. In fact, there is no mechanism that can prevent such a star from collapsing into a black hole. Depending on the initial size of the imploding star, the resulting stellar mass black hole can reach up to about 100 or more times the mass of the sun. One of these objects packs more than three times the mass of the sun into the diameter of a city. This leads to a crazy amount of gravitational force pulling on objects around the object. A stellar black holes then consume the dust and gas from their surrounding galaxies, which keeps them growing in size. Black holes of a stellar mass have temperature on the order of billionth of Kelvin, which makes it impossible to observe. Supermassive black holes have masses ranging from millions to billions of solar masses and appear to be in the center of almost all galaxies. An important area of modern astrophysics is determining how supermassive black holes came to be, where they formed with such high masses or did their mass build up over time. This type of black holes lies at the center of almost every galaxy in the universe including our own Milky Way galaxy known as Sagittarius A. There are many theories about how this type of black holes forms. One of the most compelling is that black holes tend to grow larger and larger through mergers and that's expected to be the case for supermassive black holes too. 
In this scenario, the seed of the supermassive black hole continually merges and gobbles up more and more material and continue to gorge on whatever material stays too close. Over billions of years, this process might enable a black hole to grow to millions times the mass of the sun. Also, some scientists suggest supermassive black holes could arise from large clusters of dark matter. This is a substance that we can observe through its gravitational effect on other objects. However, we don't know what dark matter is composed of because it does not emit light and cannot be directly observed. In the mass range between a stellar mass and supermassive black holes, that is hundred to hundreds of thousands of solar masses are intermediate mass black holes. This type of black hole is not too small or not too big, but it's rare. Intermediate mass black holes are thought to form when multiple stellar mass black holes undergo a series of mergers with one another. These mergers frequently happen in crowded areas of galaxies. Merging stellar mass black holes spend a very long time in the early stages of their mating dance. But eventually, they zip around each other faster and faster until finally coming together and forming a single larger black hole. After a number of conjective mergers, researchers think these mid-sized bits can eventually grow from about 100 to around 1 million solar masses. How conclusive proof of this type of black holes remains elusive. Over the past few decades, there have been a number of studies that have uncovered intriguing evidence getting at the existence of these not-so-big, not-so-small black holes. The next type of black hole, called primordial black holes, are a hypothetical type of black hole which initial masses ranging from about 0.00001 times the mass of a paper clip to about 100,000 times the mass of the sun. Depending on just how soon after the Big Bang, these black holes formed. But primordial black holes wouldn't have started out as a star anyway. As their name suggested, primordial black holes were born when the universe was still young within a mere second of the Big Bang. This was a time long before stars, galaxies, and other black holes existed. At this point, some scientists think that certain parts of the universe were incredibly rich in energy. At the time of Big Bang, most of the primordial black holes were created extremely tiny, and will those with the lowest mass have likely evaporated? Primordial black holes with the larger mass may still exist, though even those have remained undetected. According to Stephen Hawking, black holes are slowly evaporating. In the far future of the universe, long after all stars have died and galaxies have been drained from view by the accelerating cosmic expansion, black holes will be the last surviving objects. The most massive black holes will take an unimaginable number of years to evaporate, estimated at the 10 to the 100th power or 10 with 100 zero after 8. The scariest objects in the universe are almost eternal.